built this business in the most male-dominated sector you could ever imagine. I did not let being a woman stand in my way. If I can do it, why can't every woman do it? Today, women make up half of Britain's workforce, but fewer than one in five of the most senior roles. I see it every day. Businesses are dominated by men in grey suits. It's time for a change. Last week and people loved it, so we're going to play it again, and perhaps every Tuesday. Another problem facing like career women is game. not having enough hours in the day to meet both family and work commitments. One company that's trying to help is one of Britain's biggest, BT. Its 70,000 staff can choose from a range of flexible work patterns. Married mother of four, Karen Bonnet, is a channel director at BT. She's a full-time employee and she works flexi hours from home so she can fit her job around her life. Because I don't have to rush to go anywhere because they're the only thing I need to focus on. It, it is quite calm, whereas if you're working in an office, obviously you've got to get yourself ready, uh, make sure you've got everything, etc, etc. So it takes out some of the pressure off. How long now? Do it for again? 20 seconds. Karen is normally at her PC by 6 in the morning, so she's already done an hour's work before the school run. What do you have to do for the medieval feast? Dance. You've got to dance? Yeah. No way. Nobody would ever ask me how my working day was structured except to put an appointment in. I would never be asked about um, the school run, am I available, whatever time. Everything is within my control and people accept that there may need to be some flexibility around calls you put in the diary at the beginning or the end of the day. How I work now is absolutely the norm. Half an hour after dropping the kids off, Karen is back home and at her desk. So here we are. What does my day look like today? From 9 o'clock onwards, a series of calls through until 12.30, when I'll have a short break for lunch, and then I come back to the office for further calls throughout the afternoon. BT says that flexible working helps retain valued employees. More than 90% of women return to the company after maternity leave, more than double the industry average. Quite a few women work from home occasionally because that makes it easier for them to take their share of the picking up and the dropping off. Uh, another popular form with women is term time working so that they can be there for kids when they need most. And also from a family perspective, it cuts down on the costs of, of childcare for the whole family. After catching up with emails, it's time for Karen to call her boss, Gary. He also works from home, 130 miles away in rural Suffolk. Gary Norgate speaking, good afternoon. Hi, Gary, it's Karen. Oh, hello, Karen, how are you? From his home HQ, Gary directs around 500 people, around half of whom work flexibly. Yep. BT says each home worker saves them £6,000, a total of around £70 million per year. It also saves hundreds of millions a year through having less office space. I've got people on four-day weeks, three-day weeks, just about any combination you can imagine. It is, it's every sort of flexibility, but the common thing is they know what they've got to do, they know when they've got to do it, and they know that their principal objective is to make sure that, that doesn't slip. Other than that, flexible as you like. Like Karen, Gary can choose when to be at his desk or when to be with his wife and seven-year-old daughter, Alice. Hello, darling. It's just so nice to be able to be there in the evening, see how she's got on at school, read her a story, be there when she gets up in the morning. Not every morning. It's not going to work that way, but two or three days a week. It's fantastic. It feels like you're being part of it. You're contributing something rather than just being the money earner. And I just plainly enjoy it. Flexible working has also allowed Karen to see more of her family, but it hasn't held her back in her career. Over the last six years, she's been promoted three times, rising through the ranks from sales to senior management. I can honestly say that flexible working has not held me back in any way, shape or form. And I have no doubt in my mind it's ensured that not only have I stayed in the workplace, but I've managed to progress um, up the career ladder, ladder in BT. After lunch, Karen is ready for her next appointment. 
helping to organise a medieval feast at her boys' school. Flexible working means she doesn't have to justify the juggling act. The greatest benefit is I don't have the constant guilt. I do have guilt, but I don't have it constantly, and I don't spend every day making very difficult choices, i.e. work, children. Back at home, Karen finishes her work for the day before changing for her evening event. Very busy day, but it's amazing to be here. It looks fantastic. And to see the children enjoying themselves is just everything you could hope for. Flexible working may be a solution for women employed by big...